Well, protecting Montana's children. 20 years ago, the story of an abandoned baby in Missoula would forever impact children across the state. In 1999, tiny cries from inside a dumpster revealed a newborn girl in a plastic bag. That bag wrapped in blankets, the baby left to die. Baby Grace was rescued and later adopted and is now a happy, healthy 20-year-old woman. Now, her story spurred state lawmakers back then to pass Montana's first Safe Haven Newborn Protection Act. That act allows birth parents to surrender their newborns without legal consequences at any emergency services provider, such as a police station, fire station, or hospital. Governor Judy March signed that act into law in 2001. There was a need for immediate action, so I had done most of my legal career in child abuse and neglect. I had represented children in a lot of uh, different situations, so I knew the law very well. So I submitted a bill draft, you know, immediately to be able to, to figure out if we could find a way, you know, to protect babies like this. And sure enough, as we checked with other states, there were 12 other states that had laws similar to this. So what we did is take the best provisions of each one of those laws and build them into Montana's law. So that was the bill that was submitted. So I knew that this was a life or death situation, so, and everybody else realized that. So we knew we had to get some, some legislation done immediately because it was going to happen again. Halligan says it's important for people to know this law exists and how it provides options for both parents and babies. He says it passed with unanimous bipartisan support.